Kay Kilo talks about the events that led up to her leaving the baby's label. People bashing me, thinking that I'm in his crib when he getting into it with, 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 with Danny Lake. I was, I'm in my own house, you know what I'm saying? So at 12 o'clock when that happened, my whole tape was overshadowed. Everything was, I couldn't even really promote it because everybody's bashing me from that. He can't, he texted me like, oh, I can't even help you promote your because you know all this that's going on on social media. But I just feel like you knew that your artist was dropping at 12 that night. You know what I'm saying? So even though we still tried to push, but we tried to, we still tried to promote, I got bashed for two weeks straight. People came to my page and left comments, told me how trash I was, all of that shit, just because they felt like that I was supporting what he did when I told him that I did behind closed doors, but I just feel like, what did y'all want me to do? So I even caught him crying one day, like, man, these people are so evil. Like, why are they bashing me? Like, they think they think this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm not no like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that's, that's, that's not trying to fight me, I'm not about to try to fight you. Like, I'm not about to do all of that, but I will violate you. So, you know, I went to grab Charlie's phone. I broke that in her face. You know what I'm saying? Through her shoes her purse so she's screaming for dear life like help me help me help me mind you nobody is touching her nobody is touching her mind you the pol the police is arriving out there like the security um young jazz was out there um who else was out there the program director of the, of the place they all was out there my daughter out there so stomach comes around the corner and he cocks and points it at me and tell me to get the back and told her like I told you not to go with that girl without me so basically he just let her know like you should have never went with that girl at that concert because nobody told you to go with that girl at that concert nor that you didn't know who I was nor that you didn't even know me so I just feel like I had that same type of energy so you know Stunner he pulls his I get the bucket on Stunner I'm telling Stunner like first of all you live in Houston because you can't live in Charlotte you live in Houston because you can't live in Charlotte you want to know why you can't live in Charlotte because he's going to kill you can't go to Charlotte. So I'm just looking at him like, nigga, you putting it on me like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is your beef. You started this beef. You started this stupid ass shit. So I proceeded to go in and go do my, um, no, I broke stone the phone too. Like, it was like a whole bunch of chaos going on, but we never fought. Nobody ever fought. I just, you know, once I seen Shorty run, I'm just like, like, okay, whatever, you're not real gangster like the way you said that you was gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not cut like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're not cut like that the way you was cut like that when you had your seven friends try trying to jump me when you that was your first time seeing me in life, knowing that you didn't even know who I was. So I went and did the interview. I went live or whatever. And, you know, I let baby know that he had pulled that me. And I felt like, you know, at this point, okay, you the CEO of the label. You know what I'm saying? You might as well just sit both of us down and figure it out that ain't happen as far as the the as far as the label i just feel like i'm not even on here to bash the label because a lot of good stuff came out of it you know what i'm saying a lot of good stuff came out of um me being under the like you know what i'm saying i first time ever going to the bt awards you know i met a lot of people so i'm not gonna say like it just was a bad thing like i feel like baby is a really good ceo when he's in ceo mode but when he's in artist mode you know you just for yourself and i'm not gonna lie like i gotta take accountability too like me when i signed i didn't know about nothing i didn't know how to drop a music i didn't know how to i didn't know how to drop music like like being signed i didn't know like okay you can still do whatever you wanted to do like i didn't have no management the whole time i never had management and for everybody that's talking about oh why I talk now why I say nothing something now why I say something now why I say something now what are y'all even talking about y'all make y'all make it I'm I'm starting to believe that some of y'all really don't go through shit. Some of y'all real life lay on y'all bed every day and all y'all do is just comment about other people's lives and y'all really don't go through shit because y'all don't got nothing going on. I took myself off of social media for a month to get my mind right, to get myself together. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. To answer, finally answer the questions that y'all been asking me for eight months straight. Y'all lived in my comments. Y'all lived on my live. Oh, what happened? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Now when I answer and tell y'all what's going on, now all of a sudden I'm doing it for what? Doing it for what? I don't got a song dropping tomorrow. I'm not promoting no song. So what y'all gonna do is stop playing with me because 
this not what it, that's this not that I'm talking about anytime somebody playing in their head they lying like i don't got nothing to lie about i'm not mad at nobody i'm at peace with it i'm just ready for the topic to change i'm ready for the topic to change I was on live doing my hair, doing my makeup. I'm ready for the topic to change. I'm ready for the questions to change. So I answered them so everybody could get their answer. And now we can all move on. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not trying to bash nobody. I'm not trying to do none of that. And I don't have nothing to lie about. I don't have nothing to lie about. I finally spoke. I finally spoke about everything. I finally spoke. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.